My name is Joshua Patterson. On September 16th, I'm going to be doing the Berlin Marathon, 26.1 miles in a wheelchair. What inspired me to do the marathon? Uh, just over a year ago now, my best friend came to meet my daughter for the first time. And on the way home on his motorbike, he had a terrible accident and unfortunately is now paralyzed from the chest down. Only several days into the hospital, he phoned me up and asked me if I would aid him in his recovery to hopefully one day walk again and to help him set some challenges. The first challenge that he wanted to set himself was to do a marathon and based on time, Berlin was the best choice. So he asked me to join him for the race, but not to do it running, but to do it sat in a chair alongside him. So my training consists pretty much sometimes twice a day where I get up in the morning and I will either do my track work and instead of just doing consistent miles, I do my fastest mile, I break, and I can do upwards of 10 miles of that in the morning. I then will go on into the evening and do sort of strength and conditioning at F45, and I'll do a 45 minute class. How many days of that I do, just based, basing it really on my body and how it feels, because the reality is again, that my body has never been put through this before. Now, although I'm not using my legs, I've probably never used my upper body so much in my entire life. And I think when your body tells you that you need the rest, you just take it. There's no point pushing yourself. What challenges have I faced since taking on this challenge? I think it's been seriously interesting for me, understanding the challenges that you face, not just on the track, but off the track as well. You know, on the track, I think it's the distance, your mindset, not allowing yourself to give up because there are times where you hit those brick walls and it's how you overcome them each time. Sometimes can get harder and harder. I think your body, your body naturally is gonna break down. It doesn't matter how fit you are as a person. You know, at times your body does wanna shut down. I think sometimes you just need to make sure that your mind is so powerful that you can override that. I think off the track, you know, this has been such an eye-opening experience for me and I've been educated in a way that I never thought possible. How people perceive you, how they react to you, you know, socially, how awkward that they can be. You know, there are times where I come home from my, you know, my commute, from my chair to work and back and just how disrespectful people can be towards you and it'd be so unjust. And I don't think that they purposely do it. I think it's just ignorance is bliss. And I think the purpose of this challenge now has become so much greater than just Hanno and I. You know, I was so naive to how, how important the nutritional side of things actually was. You know, I wasn't eating the sufficient amount of food to cater for the training that I was putting my body through. And I lost almost a stone in a month. Now I have a nutritionist on board from F45 who has completely changed my game. And I'm eating as much as 5,000 calories a day to support that and I can see such a vast improvement. Things like the people that you have around you, from trainers, masseuses, nutritionists. You know, I'm training at the, the Weir Arch track here in Kingston-upon-Thames with, with David Weir, you know, arguably the greatest Paralympian of all time. You know, having somebody like him mentor you, you know, not only is it humbling, but it's a game changer. You know, you feel like you have this, you know, this support network on your shoulder, you know, this voice inside your head that just gives you that extra motivation. You know, without the brands, you know, this, this, this dream ultimately has been funded by the sponsors that we have on board, you know, just from a simple conversation with, with Simon from, you know, the Turmeric Co. Then meeting the owner himself, Thomas, you know, understanding the values of the brand and what it is that they want to invest in you know, again, it changes the game. Understanding the core benefits of each brand that sponsors you. You know, with the Turmeric Co, having spoken to Thomas, coming from a professional background, this isn't a guy who's just selling a product. This is a guy who sells a product that he uses himself, that benefits him. You know, anti-inflammatory, this is exactly what I need. 
every single time I wake up and every single time I go to the bed because my body is permanently inflamed by what it is that I'm doing. When you have sponsors coming on board, it's not just a case of just having one there just to fund you some money. It's having a sponsor that comes on board who believes in you and the product is of massive benefit to you and your performance. I think when people ask you the question, what motivates you? I know it can sound really cheesy, but I think the reality is that people do. You know, it's a person that's had this accident and has inspired me to do this challenge. It's people that message Tano and I on a daily basis saying how this has affected their lives. You know, having a message from an individual that has been bedridden through some form of adversity for several months to say that having seen your video or a photo has inspired them to get up and go for a walk is honestly one of the greatest feelings in the world. You know, it really gives you meaning and purpose to your life if I'm being honest with you. I think as a person, this challenge has made me far more deeper rooted as a person than I ever thought I would be. And I, you know, I thank Tano for that. You know, the fact that he's stretched my imagination, you know, and my passion for life more so than it ever was.